Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, it's Friday, that's the day that it is, and I am playing Oxygen Not Included. We're continuing off from last week, where I discovered that the experiment I did up here, the solar panels and the shine bugs, actually worked. It doesn't produce hard, any power really, no real power, but... I think possibly with more shine bugs, it could be at least sustainable, maybe. So I'm going to continue with that this week by making a bit more glass. That is causing issues with the the wiring, though. Previously, I unlocked. I don't know why it's all grayed out exactly. This heavy watt wire, and. Uh, this is something that maybe I could use. Like, can I rewire this entire base with this heavy watt wire to stop overloads? Or at least help prevent them? I'm not sure. That's going to be for a different episode. This week I want to, like I say, continue with getting another solar panel. And uh, fixing some of the problems I caused while producing that. So, oh, it is night time. I hadn't realised that. I haven't checked the temperature. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at look at all the heat this thing generates. It's ridiculous. It's uh, kind of absurd. I get, you know, that it does. You know, creating glass is a hot, hot business. But Jesus. Don't realise what a real problem that is until, you know, until you have to do it in an enclosed environment such as the colony. But, uh, so I've got this bin that they finally made. I'm going to tell it to put these two things in there so I don't have to bother making other random stuff to move it around. Oh, I've just noticed having it on this screen, look, all this stuff is full. I don't know if you can unlock a bigger storage bin in the future, but, um... That, I mean, because look at all this. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. But hey-ho, and all that, it's rather loud. Excuse me while I turn it down. I have to lean right into the microphone to do that as well. <laughs> there is that. Oh, somebody... Scolding. Oh, I guess it's because this is, yeah, causing overheateration. Nursefacationism. It, it, it's hot. It's a hot thing creating heat. But it is producing slowly the glass that I need to uh, make a solar panel. And after that, I probably just won't ever use it again. <laughs> I might even disassemble it. I can make a new one elsewhere if, uh, if you know, I need more glass. So what else am I doing in the meantime here? I think what I would like to do, in fact, is dig a little access route there. Because if someone's here and they want to get there, they have to go all the way over here and then through here or through here and up there. I think just having a little ladder there will help with things. There we go. I wasn't really expecting them to do it like that, but sure, that's fine. I can make some small quality of life improvements while I'm waiting for the uh, glass to finish. There is only two cycles left, so hopefully I can repair the damage that's caused, which is mostly like here. I can't repair this circuit because it's just going to overload again. And I don't want to keep opening and closing this door. Unfortunately, I am going to have to do that to get that circuit repaired. So we have to pump out that that area all over again. We we'll build some ladders there and get them to deconstruct these ones. I think. Now, I think that's going to cause that to fall down to uh, to here somewhere. But it's fine. These guys are actually quite good at cleaning up these days. They still leave food on the floor, which I'm never happy about it's a constant thing that i keep having to tell them to sweep food up oh it's 
it's night time again. Let me just go ahead and give these a thing to actually store, which is the same as all of these ones, really. How much glass do I have? 199 and a half. I don't know where that other half went, but it's a little bit annoying that it went somewhere. Oh god, somebody got food poisoning. Let's have a look. Oh, I guess it's coming from this. Oh my god, there's food poisoning germs everywhere. Jesus. People do tend to go around first thing in the morning and disinfect things like here, look. And here. So it's it's a little unfortunate that somebody got food poisoning, but I guess it's also a little bit late to avoid it, so... That's uh, also a tad unfortunate. We've got enough glass to build a second solar panel. I'm going to go ahead and tell them to do that right now. Build the damn solar panel. In fact, I'm going to put it on a slightly higher than normal priority. Oh, look! She's caring for our shine bug. Yay! Go ahead and do that. I just want to check this guy out. He's idle and wild and happy and hungry and elderly and groomed and unreachable. That's a lot of things for a shine bug. Shine nymph egg, 98%. This critter has a 98% chance of laying a shine nymph egg. Oh, cool. This critter has a 2% chance of laying a sun nymph egg. Eggs, egg, eggs, egg or eggs, eats grizzleberry, of course it bloody does. It's the only decent food I have available for my, uh, for my colonists, but... Insufficient oxygen generation? Where? This? Isn't producing enough oxygen? It does say max gas pressure, so I, I guess it just doesn't have room to add oxygen. I'm assuming that it, that's what that means. They built it! Well done, guys. Let's actually hook this thing up with some power. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I do also want them to clear this up. How big is this stable I, I had an issue with um not really being able to estimate the size properly have a look um excuse me for a second <sighs> i'm still a bit stuffy from my seasonal allergies i apologize um room size 88 tiles was it not bigger than that did i not extend the size of this room already to make it you know bigger Let's have a look. Uh, this is more than a tile. Oh no, the maximum is 96. Oh, so I have eight tiles. Right, I get it. So that's way more than eight. What about this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's just occurred to me that this is like a platform. This bottom part. Is that why the room size keeps changing? Because it's not counting the squares here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That actually does make sense. And when they built this, it took tiles away from the room around it. So I can actually make this room a little bit bigger. How much is this? I, I've, I know I've already counted it, but one, two, three, six. So I could, in fact, tell them to do that. And... No, wait. And this. Right? That would make the room bigger without really affecting anything. Is that unreachable build? Oh, I'm going to have to make a little ladder here, aren't they? Because this is too tall and they can't reach it. I think. Maybe. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, hang on. Let me just put a ladder uh, like that. That's a little annoying, but I I guess, you know, it happens. Oh, look! He's got a little tag on him. 
Idle, hungry, elderly, groomed, happy. Oh, this tame. Is that what it is? Happiness minus one, critter metabolism plus 100. What does that mean? Entombed. This critter is trapped and needs help digging out. No, it's not. It's got tons of space here. What are you talking about? Three old critters over the hill and will pass in... What? That's less than a cycle, isn't it? <laughs> Point 0.9 cycles? God damn it. Just as I get my experiment up and running, it's going to keel over. And I don't think I have any eggs in here. Oh, I do. I have... I... Oh, hang on. Oh, I didn't really mean to do that, but all right, fine. That just... Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a sun nymph egg right there. I knew there was another shine bug down here, but... Sweep. Okay, so they're going to move that eventually up into this box, at which point I can click this and dump it back out so that it hatches. Yay! That's cool stuff. I like it. Look, it's producing energy during the night. Yay! I mean, this is still going down. But it's going down much, much slower than it was previously. I'm happy with that. How much energy is it generating? 2.09 watts there and 4.19 watts there, which is it's pretty much nothing. That's kind of hilarious to me. Would you guys just hurry up and build this, please? <laughs> They did sort that out, which is nice. I've just noticed as well, the stress is actually at zero. When did that happen? Huh. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. Let me just finish sorting this out. Uh, I'm really happy with the way things are going, in case you hadn't noticed. Let's deconstruct that and sweep this stuff. Did they get that egg yet? Oh, it's not there. They may have got it already. Sudden nymph egg. I might just <laughs> dump it out. <laughs> so, it, you know, incubates and hatches. That's going to take a while, I should imagine. I can't even really see it. It's going to be there somewhere, isn't it? Shine nymph egg. Incubation 95%. That's actually pretty decent uh, sun nymph egg incubation 29 at 20% a cycle it's only going to take a couple of cycles to um, like a handful of cycles to hatch so okay so there is a thing I can do here I noticed it last week where is it oh damn we're actually oh it's there Critter feeder. Uh, I don't think that matters that much. Automatically dispenses food for hungry critters. I think that's probably a good idea to have that in there. So we're going to have a bunch of, you know, trapped shine bugs. Starvation? What was that? It said starvation and then immediately disappeared. I was going to say that this thing's been telling me it's like... Hungry for a while? Gristleberry, gristleberry, and phosphorite. Do I have any phosphorite? I don't I don't know. I could just feed it phosphorite, I guess. I love it. It's making eight, six, five watts of power. Again, it, it's that's that's nothing. That's not even worth really mentioning that much. But it's constant power, isn't it? Rather than this, which is just power while they're on it. And if they have to run these less, there'll be less heat going into the air and the Weezwarts can do their job and, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't sorted this out either. Sorry, I was checking out this. I'm, I'm checking around the map and using the my peripheral vision to look for, like, these shine bug eggs. 
I also need to do something with this as well. I don't know if I'll do that in this episode or not. I'm I may do. So yeah, I need to. I've got all distracted, so I need to do that. That's for sure. And I need to get that open so they can repair things. And then I need to lock it again so it can actually do the thing that I put it there to do. Really? You're just going to open the door and walk away? Like, can you not get this repaired, please? Tile, wire, repair it. With great haste. Oh, oh, am I going to end up locking that poor creature in there? No, apparently I'm not. There we go. Right, now lock this, please. Uh, lock that, please. I am actually going to lock this. No, nope, never mind. It got out. I was going to say, I'm going to end up locking this poor creature in there, aren't I? How's it? Pipe blocked, pipe blocked. How's the pipe blocked? Hang on a minute. Ventilation. Uh, I guess I could just select the pipe. How is it? Oh, I accidentally um, deconstructed the pipe, didn't I? All right, I can just fix that, I think. I don't care if that's high priority or not. Getting this stuff pumped out isn't a... Oh, they're just doing it right now. Never mind. Oh, I've got printables. When did that happen? Ooh, food. Yes, please. Boom. Let's get them to sweep that on a very high priority. I've got a bunch of critters roaming around. Like these things. I don't know if you can actually use them for anything. I've, I'm, where did my shine bug go? Oh, God, it bloody died, didn't it? Oh, freaking bloody pooey poo. Okay, so let me... Poke shell spawn? Really? Isn't that a tad... Um, like, intellectual property? I don't know. Let's have a look. Royal bug, royal nymph... Shine bug, shine nymph. So, I want to feed both of these... Apparently, I have none of this stuff. Huh. I, at least it says I have none in storage, but... I guess I don't mind feeding them whatever it is they want to eat. And then... Shine Bug and Shine... Shine Nymphs. There we go. I've just got to wait for these little guys to hatch. Uh, incubation 40%. Incubation 77%. So this isn't going to be doing anything for a good while here, is it? It does actually tell you there when you're going to get the next thing. I'm just always surprised when it happens. Yay, that's going. Let's have a check on that. It still didn't actually let that much air in now that I look at it. And it is very slowly pumping it out. I mean, it's not doing anything right now, apparently. Probably out of power. Yeah, out of power. I can't wait until there's like a bunch of shine nymphs or sun nymphs or bugs or whatever it is that they're called. Oh, I do have phosphorite. They've been delivering it. Okay, so can I set, set that to just phosphorite then? Like... Uh, oh, I've actually... Wait, what's going on here? Hang on, I'm going to pause it because I've screwed something up. What? What? Oh, I accidentally clicked things that I didn't want to click. Hang on a minute. No, n no, and no. Okay, so I want... No, go away. No, uh, did I accidentally set it to all or something? I might have clicked this by mistake. Because now, like, everything is set to set to being fed? No, 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 go away. I don't want any of you. Oh, no, I want you guys here. I just want to feed them phosphorite because it's... Otherwise, it's taking food away from my actual colonists, I believe. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I, I think that's fixed. I'm not sure what I did to to make it wrong, but sun bug, sun nymph, shine bug, shine nymph, and nothing else. Right, okay, awesome. So I am going to have to get them to sweep this up again, aren't I? Like, go put that food where my people can eat it. Wicked. Also, it's just occurred to me, I've got this grooming station for a rancher, I think they're called. I don't know if I've set anyone to actually do it. Um, what, what does that hat mean? Improved farming. Because I think, was it Jean that I hired specifically to do the... Yeah, she's got the critter ranching, so that... I think that means she'll do that. I still haven't... I've got people here with tons of skills available, but I can't allocate any of them because it just makes them unhappy. Really irritating that that's a thing where you can just have skills that are completely redundant, but either that or I just don't understand it properly. Probably a little bit of both. There's a system that I don't understand. Oh look, that is starting to cool down, I think, which is awesome. Excuse me. Oh, good God. I'm still suffering. So that is doing the thing that that thing does. These are complaining that their body temperature is too high. How? It seems quite temperate, but I, I've made a bunch of changes which have screwed things up a bit. I'm still a little concerned about this. I don't know what to do with this. Because it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and I don't know if I can do anything with it. Oh, fertilizer synthesizer uses polluted water and phosphorite to produce fertilizer. Huh. That might solve my polluted water problem. Doesn't solve my water problem. But uh, you can see, like, things are starting to get quite low again. It was up here previously. Well, nearly. And I don't know where else to find water on this map. I, I don't know if you can just melt a bunch of ice. Could I do that, maybe? Because there is some, like, there that I believe is from here that melted. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. Is that a, even a thing that works? But maybe I can do this. That does mean I'm going to have to... Oh, God, look at the state of that. That does mean I'm going to have to pump... For, um, what is it? I nearly said fertilised water. That's completely incorrect. I'm going to have to pump this polluted water into there. Wait a minute. Hang on. Let me just cancel that a second. Uh, I can make it out of iron ore. Or copper ore. I, I guess I'm just going to make it out of copper ore. Like that. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I've got a new toy to play with, don't I? <laughs> Come on, guys. Hatch. Hatch, I, I, I want to see my machine working again. Incubation 91%, 55%. I'm happy. What about this guy? What's this guy? Idle, wild, happy, hungry, elderly. That one's going to die soon, right? Uh, we'll die in 2.2 cycles. All right, fine. I mean, if it drops an... I don't know if they drop an egg like when they die or just because they're content or something, but I hope it drops an egg and again so I can, like, dump it in there. That would be amazing. Okay, so they made this. Now, let me think. I need to... Plumbing. I need to plumbing. <laughs> well done, son of Moga. If you're not a moron at all, are you? <laughs> So, uh, that's the outpipe? How is that 
an outpipe and not... No, that's an in-pipe. That's an... Uh, it's, these symbols still confuse me. If I do that, and then that... Wait. Oh, God. Did I do that right? Yeah, so the green is out and the white is in. It should pump this up into there, and then it will make fertilizer, correct? It needs power, so let's go ahead and give it some power. Guess I'll just do that. Let's see. Let's just see how it goes. Oh, is this all unreachable? Oh, bloody pooey poo. Hang on a minute. Can I just make a bit of ladder there? And they can stand on that and do this, and I'll build it up until they can do all the pipe, and then I'll take it back away again? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Absurd lengths I have to go through to make this kind of thing work. It's my fault. I've built everything weird and wonky. I thought that said unreachable. It says unbreathable. Speaking of which, how's the pump going? Well, it would seem. These guys... 98%! God damn it, it's... It seems to be taking so long. <laughs> I did at some point have like three or four of these little shine bug things like just hovering about. Unrefrigerated food. Of course I've got unrefrigerated food. Why wouldn't I? Go ahead and do that. If they'll actually sweep it up. No? I think that's just rotten, yeah, that's just rotted food that's right there. Awesome. Fantastic. <gasps> it hatched! Yay! And it's producing five watts. Seven? It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's producing an amount of power anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend to be unhappy with it because I'm not. Wicked. It's kind of just free power. I know I've used a lot of resources and dumped a bunch of heat into the base, you know, using this to make them, but as long as I can have shine bugs or nymph... Nymph bugs isn't correct? What are they called? Shine nymph... Shine bugs or sun bugs in there? Then, you know, it will produce energy pretty much forever? Not really forever, just sort of forever. Come on, guys. Come on. You, could you just maybe f finish this then, please? Thank you. There we go. Oh, I haven't told them to get power to this yet, have I? Oops. Oh, there we go. I can just go... I guess... Like that. Are you going to do it? Come on, guys, do it. There we go. Hopefully, they'll only use this when they need fertilizer, because these things up here have not had fertilizer for quite a while, and I've not really known what to do about it, since I'm unclear as to how fertilizer is made. But if this is, you know... Creating fertilizer. I do notice it's actually dumping heat into the atmosphere as well. That's a little unsettling. But it won't be running forever. Right? Oh, God. I mean, there is some cold air here coming from this. Hmm. That is a little worrying. But again, if it's not running forever, then... I don't know, I guess I'll I'll just have to keep an eye on it. <laughs> okay, so what else have we got here? Oh, look, it's working! 2.7 watts, 4 watts, 6 watts. It's, it's not bad, actually. <clears throat> I think maybe I could rearrange this so they're over the solar panels more. They do notice that, you know, when it's over here, it's not powering this one. Maybe if I moved these into the middle, it... and shifted this over? I don't know if that'd be better or worse. I might have to just try it in between episodes. 
but it does work. It is, um... Where is... Where, where's, where's the sun nymph egg? There you go. 82%. It is somewhat cruel. Like, I've trapped these things in a room to power my base, like, forever. Okay, so it's 1.7 cycles, which is less than a cycle until my next one. I am going to have to leave things there, unfortunately. I've got a lot to do today, and um, the video's already getting along a bit in length. I don't really feel like I've done that much, just like little quality of life improvements. I've finished the solar power room. That sounds weird when you say that, doesn't it? A solar power room. Normally you'd have solar panels outside. I don't even know if this game has an outside, but... Solar panel stuff. And I fixed the broken circuits and I added a few roots and the fertilizer thing. Hopefully the fertilizer will make the food grow quicker, which people will eat and be happier. Although the stress is actually at zero. Probably because I'm making a decent amount of decent food right now, so... Let me just make sure I save it. And I'll pop back to the main menu. And there we go. That's this week's episode of Oxygen Not Included. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you've got hints, tips, comments, suggestions, criticisms, also the comments section, I'd be very, very helpful, uh, very grateful for some helpful tips, especially in regards to things like sustainability. I mentioned this in the previous episode, like, you make air with algae, and when you run out of algae, you can apparently convert slime into algae, but what happens when you run out of slime? Do you just run out of air? Is there something else you can do? Same thing with water. Once I run out of water, I'm not sure where my water supply is going to be coming from, which means no food, which means no colonists. Anyway. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. I am very close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. I get occasional notifications of people subscribing. Sometimes YouTube tells me, and most of the time it doesn't. So thank you to all the people that did subscribe and will subscribe. You can join me, I think, Sunday... Oh, Halloween on Sunday. Yes, absolutely join me. I have a thing that I want to do on Halloween. But I also want it to be a bit of a surprise. So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining me. I'll see you on Halloween. If not sooner. Probably Halloween, though.